I had a pretty good idea, probably my junior year, because I remember we went to a uh, college fair, and I'd always wanted to do something with the media since I was really little, and they were talking about you know how good the journalism program is, and that led into me really looking it up and looking at the things that they offer here. So from that age, I knew at some point I was going to come here. Students with disabilities that are doing um, exceptionally well in the classroom and in extracurricular activities, and I got that my the end of my junior year, and that was a thousand dollar scholarship. So. $500 spread out through the school year, and that was awarded to me through Disability Services. They do really do care about their students 100%, and they do do everything they can to help them. Like they'll hire someone to take notes for them during class, and they always try to find someone who's able to do that pretty well, and I've never had a problem with that. Honestly, I'll put anyone on the radio if I think they're funny or entertaining. So, but doing this show that I do, like where we play a lot of local artists, that has given me more of an opportunity to put bands on that I have that are local and stuff, and I do feel like that's helped with interview skills, and I think that in the media world, that's very important to have. Here, they give you the opportunity, and I feel like the earlier you start it, especially if you're doing this for four years, three years, whatever, it gives you a chance to grow, take advantage of just anything that's thrown at you, and I think that I have in the time I've been here, and, you know, doing WCRD, doing everything I have with Newslink, and I feel like that's also helped. So I feel like Ball State has done a lot, but I also think that I have also done a pretty good job of taking advantage of the opportunities that are thrown my way.